today we're going to do some basic 3D character modeling in Blender using an intriguing plugin called Manuel Bastioni Lab, right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. All right, let's begin. Uh, I wanted to show you this web page. There will be a link in the description which will take you to the site, and you can get more information on this software. Now, unlike uh, Make Human, that is a self-contained 3D modeling application, this is actually a bundle that you add to Blender to extend its functionality and bring in the ability to develop 3D characters or creatures. All right, so you may want to read through this documentation. Everything you need to know is right here. Uh, there is uh, additional documentation, documentation and uh, download information here. And uh, basically, we're going to go through the installation process right now. Now, this looks like it's under heavy development. And as I've been reading through this, I've kind I kind of have been, you know, seeing that they're already showing off what's going to be coming in the future 1.3 edition. We're looking at 1.2 right now. And so it looks like they're doing some promising stuff with this. And for right now, what it delivers is pretty interesting for those of you who uh, already know how to use Blender and uh, get a lot of uh, out of it. I know this can be a major time saver for many of you guys. Um, let's go ahead and open up Blender. All right, and this is the way I have it set up for myself. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into File, User Preferences. Okay, and then we're going to select Install from File. We're going to navigate um, to where we saved the Manual Bastion Lab 120 Zip. We're just going to um, highlight that and then select Install from File. Okay, now you're going to see that you have an option here for characters, Manual Bastioni Lab. Let's go ahead and select that. And then when we're done, we need to press Save User Settings so that these settings are loaded automatically every time we open Blender. And then we can close the Settings panel. All right, and you'll see now we have a tab here for manual bastioni all right and you have some choices here uh, for the different type of characters that you want to build in the system okay you can choose a caucasian female asian afro caucasian asian afro male they also have anime and uh anime modern shapes. Why don't we try uh, an anime shape here? Uh, let's go with the anime modern female. We selected that and then we're going to press init character. And now it has given us this sort of uh, anime looking character that we can work with, okay? And uh, there are a number of other little controls that we can do with this. Um, and it's been a while since I looked, with, looked at this, so please bear with me because uh, I forgot half the things that this did. Uh, I initially looked at this about two or three weeks ago, and then uh, other things happened, and uh, I wasn't able to... Uh, get on this project. Um, we have some expression tools here. <laughs> so you can uh, change uh, how the uh, character looks here. <laughs> kind of neat. There's a fit expression. Not sure what that does. There's a random generator here. All right, and um, why don't we play with this and see what we get? We can do caricature. And then um, 
There's some you can preserve uh, mass tone, uh, height, face. Let's just generate something here. And uh, <laughs> we we can come up with some pretty interesting looks. And then of course, ah, here it is. This is a pose to, and uh, this is obviously something you know if you're going to be. Um, doing some modifications with the characters, you're going to want to put that in a T-pose, which um, you can do here. And then by setting a mirror, you know, you can shape these. Now, there are a number of tutorials that go into detail on um, how you can actually, uh, you know, import a photograph and then you can shape these characters uh, to an actual photograph and that sort of thing. That's not the scope of uh, this video. I just figured I'd show you how to install it and just play with it a little bit. And if it's something that really sparks your interest, you can go on Manuel Bastioni's website, download this and try it out for yourself. I'm just playing around with this thing. So, um, we can maybe uh, choose a, a glamour pose. <laughs> Gotta love it. Okay. Um, you got some body parameters here. And, uh, okay, you can um, change some of these things. Okay, I see what we got here. So we can change, you know, you can actually sit here and morph a number of controls. Let's go ahead and uh, zoom in. And you can see uh, some of the things that I'm doing here. It's pretty interesting. So, I mean, you've got a lot of controls here. But it, when you think about the time it takes to actually model a figure yourself, this is an excellent time saver. So we have some uh, parameters here we can mess with. And I know I could probably spend all day uh, looking at this. There are uh, some utilities here. Okay, it looks like we're just doing stuff in real time here. You can uh, import and export files with this. Very interesting. Um, what if we were to go with uh, something a little bit more realistic and then do a generate on this, see what we got here. Okay, well that, that gave that a pretty neat shape. Yeah, that's uh, looking pretty good there. All right, and there's another shape that we've generated. All right, let's go ahead and delete this. Let's uh, see if we can make a monster. Let's uh, go ahead and... Select all of this and delete it. Okay, and then we'll just go back into um, here. Um, why don't we uh, go with a uh, Caucasian male this time? Because I want to see about the possibility of making a monster. I know I've made monsters with this before. Okay, here we go. We've got our male character here. Okay, and um, let's see what kind of things we can do with this. Okay, it looks like, so we can, it looks like there's some special types here, like a heavy body, if we want to. Interesting. And I thought I saw a monster in here before. The evil genius look. <laughs> Gotta love it. All right, um, the athletic type. Um, thought I saw a monster in here. I thought there was one. Um, maybe it was something else I was looking with. All 
Okay, lots of body parameters. Goodness, all of these dials, kids, we could be in here for um, days just looking at all of these uh, little features that are thrown in here. This is something else. Uh, looks like we've got auto modeling tools as well. Okay, hmm. Not seeing, okay, it looks like it did do something here, um, such as uh, with the auto modeling and smoothing. I, I saw some activity going on here. Not much, though. But I was pretty sure there was a, um, maybe, maybe it was something else that I was looking at at some point. Um, I thought there was something to do with monsters in here, but maybe not. I could be wrong. Okay, what have we got here for extreme? <laughs> Goodness gracious. <laughs> okay, yeah, so you can see here. Um, we've <laughs> That's a gnarly looking character. So, I mean, you know, if you're if you're looking to make some pretty strange looking characters to put into your uh, to your video project or um, or if you just want to have professional looking characters. All right, you can do this. And, uh, you know, sometimes uh, with these, there, there is a little bit or a little sense of realism in some of these. So it's pretty cool what you can do with this. In the hands of a talented artist, I'm sure a lot can be done with this. Um, I'm going to be keeping my eye on this project, I can tell you, because uh, it looks like there are some interesting features. And uh, eventually I'll spend some more time with this. I know this would probably be something really cool if you're uh, maybe looking to make uh, characters to bring into 3D worlds like Second Life or uh, Open Sim or any of those other virtual worlds. Uh, this would probably be a good utility for using that along with the Avastar uh, plugin, which is designed for uh, rigging those characters and then bringing those into uh, virtual word worlds. So um, I like what I see here. I'm glad I had an opportunity to uh, take a look at this with you guys. Um, if you think this is something you'd like, click the link in the description, download it, try it, and play with it. And let me tell you, kids, if you do try this, you're going to be spending a long time time playing with all the dials on this thing uh there's so much there's so much potential that this has here so awesome work manuel bastioni i can't wait to see what you bring out next that's all i have on this topic for today i'm not sure what i'm going to be covering next on cup of linux but i'm sure i'll have something equally exciting until then peace out mm -hmm.